everyone and welcome to Game Leaks. Um, let's see a series of uh, beautiful arpeggios to play over the dominant uh, seventh chords. An information that I took a long time ago by the great guitarist uh, Don Mock. We're going to play over the unaltered dominant seventh chord. That means that um, the dominant seventh chord with the natural tensions nine and thirteen root major third. Perfect fifth, flat seven, nine, thirteen. Or maybe uh, C dominant seven sus four. And uh, let's uh, very quickly go to the arpeggios. The first arpeggio is from the root, from the tonic. And it's uh, the C dominant seventh arpeggio over the C dominant seventh chord, unaltered. Now, on each one of the chord tones of this arpeggio, I will uh, I will build a, a different type of arpeggio. For the for example, from the third uh, of the C dominant seventh chord. Now, I will build the minor seven flat five arpeggio. One flat third flat five flat seven. From the fifth. G minor seventh arpeggio root flat third fifth flat seventh and from the flat seventh the major seventh arpeggio root major third perfect fifth major seventh A series of four arpeggios, each one of them has uh, its root on the um, succession of the notes of the C dominant seventh arpeggio here root, major third, perfect fifth, flat seventh. And once more, uh, let's make a recap of uh, the arpeggios from the root, dominant seventh, from the third, minor seventh, flat five, from the fifth, minor seventh. Flat seventh, major seventh. Let's see the intervallic relationship of, of all those four arpeggios uh, to the C dominant seventh chord here. The first one from root, root third, fifth, flat seventh. From the third, third, fifth, flat seven, nine. Uh, from the fifth. Fifth flat seven nine eleven sus and the last one the uh, B flat major seventh uh, flat seventh for the C seventh chord nine eleven thirteen. Of course, we may choose to play one or combination of two or a combination of three or the combination of all four arpeggios over the dominant seventh chord. It doesn't mean that uh, because we have all those four arpeggios, we have to use them all, all the time, all four of them over the C dominant chord. Maybe I have the C dominant seventh chord and I use only the G minor chord, like sus, if you remember. Maybe I have the C dominant seventh and I will use only the half diminished uh, arpeggio here from the third. Seventh, or the root, and so on, or a combination, maybe only the. Uh, half diminished and the minor and the G minor. And so on. Let's try all four together. Practice uh, our uh, four seventh, uh, uh, four types of arpeggios over the C dominant uh, static bump chord. 
environment and let's proceed to the C traditional blues now here for example you see we have four times C seventh chord four bars two bars at seventh back to C seventh for the two bars one bar C seventh one bar F seventh and uh, one bar C seventh one bar G seventh and uh, from the beginning again this 12 bar uh, traditional blues what we are going to do over that form for the C dominant seventh, we're going to improvise over the C seventh, E half diminish, G minor seventh, B flat major seventh. For the F dominant, we transpose the whole information a fourth half, and we're going to play uh, for the F seventh, A half diminish, C minor seventh, and E flat major seventh. And for the C seventh, we move one tone up. G7, uh, B half diminish, D minor 7th, and F, F uh, major 7th arpeggio. We are going to combine all those uh, types of four arpeggios uh, on each chord from the C, from the F, and from the G with a C blue scale, which is simply the C E flat, F, G flat, G natural, B flat, C, and the next tocca. 